Wow. I saw Mowgli, Legend of the Jungle. Yeah, so that's another Jungle Book movie? Yes. So there was a John Favreau Jungle Book movie that was released in the theaters. Yep. This is now a show or a movie on It's a Netflix? movie. It's a two-hour movie. See, Warner Brothers Why made Why did it need to be made? I don't. Well, they made it at the same time, the Jungle Book, but Jungle Book came out first, so then they oh. sat on it. The guy from Lord of the Rings made it. What's uh, Peter Jackson? No, no, no. Andy Serkis. Andy Serkis yeah. directed it, made it. Who played, and you can really uh, tell it in What this. do you call it? Uh, not, I want to say Gimli. That's not the, the word. The Gollum. Gollum, yeah. So these, uh, these creatures, I'm not even going to say they're animals. These creatures look like they were made from Lord of the Rings. So there are It's a jungle creepy. book. What do you mean? What creatures are in the There's jungle no book? There's no creatures in the jungle book. They're supposed to be wolves, but they're actually... They put human eyes on all the animals. Oh, man. And then they gave them all, like, mange, like Alice Well, that's a whole Andy Circus thing is, like, he's able to emote because he did the King Kong thing. Yeah, well, it it doesn't work in there. They all look creepy. Baloo is, like, missing patches of fur and has scars everywhere, and he sounds like an ogre from Lord of the Rings when he talks. (laughs) It is weird. It's a weird movie. Super dark, really creepy. Like, the little boy has a a pet, uh, not a pet, but, like, a brother wolf that's white. And he's friends with it. And then halfway through the movie, that wolf's dead and its head stuffed to put on some oh, of the wow. shelf. So it is, it is a, not for children. Yeah, it's no not the music, Disney version. Huh? Wow. No, it is a weird-ass movie. I'm not going to wow. say it's terrible, but it's weird. And like I said, every animal in the movie has human eyes and mange and, like, scars. And, so they're trying to get gritty. Yeah, and kind of it was real. like... It was like all the animals went to war before they filmed this movie. <laughs> so it's like Planet of the Apes. Yeah, yeah. It's a, so it's, it's a weird movie. Uh, definitely watch it with your kids. <laughs> <laughs> Pull all your six-year-olds in the room. I can't imagine a lot of moms that watched that thinking that they were going to see some happy-go-lucky Disney yeah. type thing. Oh. They must have been shocked when they watched this one. So they... it's named Mowgli, which I th- believe Mowgli is the name of the orangutan? No, the... it's the name of the boy. Oh, what's the name of the orangutan? It doesn't King the... Louie, but it doesn't matter because oh. the orangutan's not even in this one. There is no orangutan. So the... They're just all over the place yeah, it's, on it's, this it's, one. I, it's crazy. Everything's weird. Stay away from it. Another, <laughs> another wow. turd on Netflix. Wow. Two Robert thumbs down from Steve Martin. Yeah, all this that Netflix original, Netflix rules the world. Everything I keep watching sucks on this goddamn station. And that brings me to my next thing. Ellen DeGeneres, relatable. I watched her stand up. So I'm not homophobic. So she did Because I did watch it. <laughs> so everyone at this point has an hour long Netflix Everybody special. Has. I think Bob's is next month. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Bob, I do. I'm on the Hitler thing, might derail that. <laughs> yeah. but I don't know. Hell, that back. Hitler thing was funnier than anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, wow. <laughs> so it's an hour long special. She yes. Did. And the first, she's not a stand-up comedian. She was. That's how she her, started off. Was career, she a stand-up? Yeah, yeah. 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 She I think of her like a sitcom person. She was just stand-up, so then got a sitcom, then the said she was show. gay, and they fired her from the sitcom. Okay. Yeah. And then she's pretty much been a talk show host for 16 years. Uh, and she covers all that in her stand-up, and it gets all serious about how she was gay and nobody would take her. Oh, and how there's side effects. Nothing says funny. So how, is that, that, how does that equate to a stand-up? Well, it's like a documentary on herself. (laughs) Well, no, she comes out and she does it. Her opening joke's really good. It's about being relatable to people. And she's like, I still feel I'm relatable because my butler told me the other day, like, she did it like she's rich, (laughs) but relatable. So that first five minutes is funny. After that, she gets kind of preachy and, you know, recaps her life, but throws some jokes in here and there. Uh, She was really funny back in. Probably late 80s is my guess, right? Early 90s? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I don't remember a lot of those stand-up. Stand up. Yeah. He sees those, but he doesn't see the grin. Yeah, wow. <laughs> that's, that's on, that that's on his Allen. Like I, I didn't know Bob that's was on his DVR. Yeah, wow. So we would have been late 80s. You're talking about 10, 12-year-old Bob Maxwell. Yeah. Watching out with the other stand <laughs> That was Bob at his prime. <laughs> that was my big Friday night. <laughs> what right is happening? Yep. <laughs> when you're in Oklahoma. Didn't catch Elf, but was watching those deep-cut Ellen stand stand-ups. Wow. It was on HBO, probably. It was Andrew Dice Clay, then Ellen DeGeneres for Bob. Wow. <laughs> Followed up with George Carlin. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. George Carlin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, at least George, George Carlin, Carlin was great. Yeah. Yeah, you... It just it rambles too much, and then, then she pulls up pictures like on her talk show, and it just wasn't that so good. So she she's, she's having her stand up in front of a screen? No. There's a big screen behind her, and then she's in front of a crowd. Okay. But it just it's, it just kind of rambles a little too long, and even Michelle was getting bored, because I know I'm not... Her target audience, okay. a forty-three-year-old straight yeah, male. Yeah, yeah. I'm not who she's aiming for, but even the women, like I said, my wife and stuff was like, "How ah, is this over yet?" So not that good. She, if I had a top ten uh, 
stand-ups on Netflix, I don't think she'd even be in it. Wow. Uh, you know, of course, Dave Chappelle. Those Dave right. Chappelle ones are great. Yeah. Uh, the, the Joe Bill Rogan Burr recent one's really good, Joe too. Joe Rogan Bill one Burr, yeah. Bill Burr is great. Yeah. Uh, the guy who calls himself the machine. He's a fat guy with a beard. I've heard of him. Oh, yeah, he's he hilarious. There's yeah. a lot of Jim Jim Is he the one that's... Who's Jim the guy that took his shirt off? That's the guy that's the machine. Hilarious. He does that Russian story. It's the best. Yeah. The machine. Sorry, we don't know your name, Bert, but yeah, it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, but Ellen DeGeneres, not so much. Uh, stay away. So there you go.